Women are primarily the victims of violence in our society because we live in a society that says that there are certain times when it's okay to excuse violence against women. We know now we've got pretty good evidence in Australia that gender inequality is at the root of all violence against women. Um, we grow up with boys and girls being given very different paths in life. Uh, the more that we can tackle um, those roots of gender inequality and have boys and girls growing up equally together with mutual respect for one another, um, the better we're going to get at tackling this problem. Yeah, as men we need to challenge old attitudes and learnt behaviours against women. You know, simple things like words are passive but they hurt a lot more uh, than what we think. So we need to stop and think before we speak because those kind of behaviours actually lead into domestic violence. This goes to the heart of how we raise our boys and our girls. And it goes to the heart of how we teach boys to be men and what they think being a man means. And at the moment it could easily be seen that particularly young men, their attitudes towards women aren't necessarily getting any better. So we have to keep doing this stuff earlier and more intently because we know if we change those attitudes, we can change the um, outcome of so many women losing lives and having such unhappy lives in violent situations. I like to think as men we're going to challenge those men that have got poor attitudes towards women and if that's about bringing it back into the family and showing what a healthy relationship is all about then those kids are seeing that you know and those actions will then speak louder than words. The kids see everything you know so your actions then have got to be on your best behaviour day in day out. Well rugby league was a, a male dominated sport and I think in times of change now where we, we do have a lot of pathways for our women and I think when you look at community and, and local rural a lot more women are being uh, a lot more women are playing the game now so that's bringing a lot uh, a different demographic to the game so you're getting your nans and your pops you know people that probably wouldn't have come and watched the game before because their daughters their granddaughters their cousins their nieces are now playing the game in rugby league the women's game is just really taken off which then brings it into that shared responsibility, you know, so it's no longer the women sitting in the canines and, you know, doing the jerseys, it's the women beating out in the football field, you know, now they're the, the touch judges and the referee. So when you look at that, that's obviously got to be a good thing in moving forward. So I think the country rugby league um, is leading the way here amazingly in terms of um, shifting that culture. Uh, rugby particularly is a very macho sport and, um, and I think the fact that we've got girls teams and women's teams will start to change these conversations and the norms and what people think being a, a good man or a strong man is or being a good woman, being a strong woman. Seeing those females actually come into the fold and um, take their stance and stand right there next to us, us males in, in the sport is actually, it's, it's um, it's major, it's, it's epic, it's going to send a ripple throughout our, our time. It's definitely etched in history now and I reckon the NRL, the CRL, our communities will see the fruits of that labour in folds, tenfolds in 10 years down the track, 20 years down the track, we'll definitely see a future of um, wonderful initiatives come from this, I think. I also thought about it, if that happens to my daughter, I'd be pretty, um, you know, I'd be pretty devastated, I don't know what I'd do, so i got a granddaughter now, I've got, some, I've got a few, couple of granddaughters and maybe a few soon and I want them to be safe. I want them to be with someone who, who um, has respect, loves them enough to know that their safety and their importance and their value is equal to them and it shouldn't be anything different. Just even down to respecting women, just how you speak to them, um, not you know, speaking down on someone or, you know, calling someone a derogatory name or anything like that. Um, or just even scapegoating women, putting them in a corner if they wear something, you know, particular or anything like that. Basically in this club in particular, if anyone's heard about talking or putting any of the women down, then it's, um, 
the club usually sanctions them pretty hard, the players pretty hard. Everyone's very, very respectful of each other in this club. So, yeah, we respect the women for the effort they put in on the, on the field and off the field, and they respect us as well. And hopefully we can give that message to our juniors as they rise up through the ranks and start playing first grade, and then they can sort of learn the, learn the lesson.